Running from gunfire on the CTA, the violence continues on public transit, with a man shot multiple times on a CTA train just last night. Now the vice president of CTA security is speaking out about the shooting and their safety efforts as well. So what are they doing? Our Tara Molina, always investigating, joins us now live in the loop. Tara? Joe and Erica, the big question today, and it's really been a question for months, how is the CTA going to prevent people with weapons from getting on their trains? That's a million dollar question. If you could prevent people from getting on the CTA with guns, uh, we could do it, you know, like airports do it, but that would, nobody would ever get on a train. There, there would be huge long lines. Um, this is a challenge faced by agencies all over the world. That's Kevin Ryan with CTA Security on weapons prevention on the CTA following the shooting on a red line train car Tuesday at the 47th Street stop. Two men got into a fight on a train car and one of them pulled out a gun and shot the other in the back and legs as passengers, commuters, just trying to get home, hurried to get off the train car. Kawan George was one of them. You know, as soon as I heard the shots, I'm, oh man, no, nah, no, nah, this can't be real. I, everybody started running. The gunman made it off too. He still isn't in custody as police continue to investigate this afternoon, investigate yet another CTA crime. We've tracked the spike in crime closely here at CBS2. Just yesterday, telling you about the theft of a police officer's taser during a fight at the Roosevelt Red Line stop. We've tracked violent crime on public transit at an eight year high. Here are the numbers since 2018. Aggravated battery, way up. So if airport-like security isn't the answer, what is? It's, it's aggressive enforcement and aggressive prosecution once somebody is caught. And there are enhanced penalties for uh, carrying weapons and public transportation. Ryan also spoke to something we've shown you firsthand, the advanced camera network on the CTA. Nothing has been released publicly, but he said video of the shooting was provided to CPD within an hour. These cameras serve as a silent witness and have been vital an asset in provide, helping police identify and arrest suspects. I've been checking in with Chicago police throughout the day today. They are still actively investigating that shooting. No one is in custody tonight. Reporting live in the loop, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Tara, thank you.